We're going to do the partial fraction decomposition of the following fraction. First, we have to split this up into two separate fractions. The first one having a denominator of 1 plus x. The second one having 2 plus x squared. Now, if I said 1 plus x equal to 0, I get x equals negative 1. And so I'm going to put a for that. But when I, put, when I said 2 plus x squared equal to 0, I get x squared is negative 2, which is not possible for any real number. So that's why I have bx plus c. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by 1 plus x times 2 plus x squared. So the denominator cancels on the left and the right. Each of the denominators is going to cancel, but we're going to have, we're going to multiply the numerator by the other denominator. So the goal now is to solve for a, b, and c. First I'm going to plug in x equals negative 1, and so that's going to cancel out this term right here. So I'm left with, well, if I plug in negative 1 here, I get negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6. And then 2 plus negative 1 squared is 3. So that's 3a, which means a is negative 2. Now I'm going to plug in x equals 0. So if x is 0, the left here is 0. And then we have 2 plus 0 is 2, so that's 2a. b times 0 is 0, so that leaves me a c. And then c times 1, so that's c. So 0 is equal to 2a plus c. a we said is negative 2, so 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And so we solve for c to get 4. Now we need to solve for b, so plug in another number, say x equals 1. On the left we have 4. Recall a was negative 2. And then when x is 1, we have 2 plus 1 squared is 3. Here c is 4, so we have b plus 4. And then x is 1, so we have 2. Simplifying this, we have 4 is equal to negative 6 plus 2b plus 8. Negative 6 plus 8 is 2. Subtract that from both sides. We have 2 is equal to 2b, which means b is 1. And so we can plug it back into the original problem here and get that the original fraction is equal to negative 2 over 1 plus x plus x plus 4 over 2 plus x squared.